Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to What Matters and What More, which is the title of a new book of essays written in the service of admission to Harvard or Stanford's MBA program. There are 50 essays from successful applicants to both schools, in some cases uh, from dual admits. We have with us today Liza Wheel, who is the founder of Gatehouse Admissions and the co-author of the book, to discuss Jerome, whose essay is called Bringing Outer Space Back Down to Earth. Now, the, what makes his essay to Harvard Business School really unusual is this. Harvard allows people to basically write as many words as they want. There's no definite word count on its essay question, which is basically, what more can you tell us that we don't know from your application? And Jerome, has the shortest essay in the book. It comes in at 495 words uh, when a more typical Harvard Business School essay, you know, usually is around a thousand or a little bit more. Liza, what do you make of that? Well, I, you know, this is, this runs the opposite of a lot of what I say when I work with folks that are applying to this, this school or either of the schools. It's short. Short. It's short and it's very to the point. Um, but again, you know, what was so fascinating in developing this book was looking at all these successful examples. This worked. This worked. He was accepted. We know that um, to HBS. So there was certainly something, um, you know, that was there was enough in this essay, even though he possibly left uh, several words, more words on the table. There was enough to catch the attention of HBS and garner that acceptance. Um, so that to me, it's, it was a good learning moment for me. As much as we say a thousand and you want to round things out, you might not need to. You got to trust your gut of what you need to say and what you're going to feel comfortable writing to. Really true. And, and in this case, he is inspired by a Harvard commencement address delivered by Bill Gates. Uh, and his essay opens, I just want to read a little bit about this because I, I, I think it's helpful to our viewers. He starts, growing up in Berkeley in the Bay Area in the 1990s, I was constantly surrounded by the notion that the most enlightened and selfless way to live your life was to invest your time in making the world a better place. We'll skip a little bit and just say this. It was not until fairly recently that I gained clarity on how I could achieve broader impact after listening to a recording of one of my role models, Bill Gates. A specific statement he made resonated with me. Quote, humanity's greatest advances are not in the discoveries, but in how those discoveries are applied to reduce inequity. Hmm. Those are not, those are really, those words and how he writes them is almost lyrical, even though this is a short, brief essay. Yeah, what I like about the opening is that, it, you know, through the rest of the essay, there's not as much of a sense of who he is, who, what his personality is like, those personal moments and influences. But the opening, we get a sense of, you know, we can see him in the Bay Area. We can see him being inspired by this quote and being so specific about the quote that has resonated with him. It helps us you know, walk in his shoes a little bit and, and get to know his motivation. And I think, I think without it, this essay would almost be just too sterile. There wouldn't be enough of personality in it, but because of that opening, you know, we, we're predisposed to like him or at least be able to see his world a little bit. Now, in general, what do you think of someone who only writes fewer than 500 words uh, to a prompt that basically has no word limit? You know, I think it's a risky move. So, you know, this whole, this whole process or journey of word count, you want to look at the, you know, what's the rest of the class doing? What's everybody else doing? You, because there's some part of you, if, if there are people that are taking a thousand words and you're only taking half that time, are you missing an opportunity to really delight and connect and engage with the reader? So to me, it's a bold move, just like if, you know, on the opposite, going with a 2000 word essay, I would say that's, that's too risky. I'm by nature risk averse. So I'm always going to say, 
you know, take advantage of the words, you know, the average words don't go way over, but don't go way under it either. Would be my 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 typical advice. Okay, now just to play devil's advocate, Liza, if I'm uh, on the admissions panel at Harvard and I've had a really long day and I've already already read the essays of 30 other candidates and finally Jerome and I read this and my God, I'm delighted because he's not making me suffer through <laughs> this exercise. He's getting to the point and getting it done. And you know what? I'm favorably disposed toward that. So you have that argument as well, right? Yeah, you totally do. I think you're right. And I also, he does it elsewhere in the essay where he's very clear about, he's very explicit about his goals. He wants to make, he's, he's been an engineer in aerodynamics and he wants to make things um, that he's been studying, like, you know, uh, bringing, I, we call it uh, bringing outer space back down to earth because that's what he wants to do. He wants to bring, you know, I'm not exactly sure with, what his vision is. That's one thing I would have wanted him to tease out a little bit more, but he wants to make aerodynamics more uh, accessible for everyone. He's very explicit about that. And, and I think to that, I, I tip my hat to him because he leaves, that's why he wants to go to business school. He's very clear and explicit about it. And I agree with you. I'm sure the reader appreciated that, appreciated him being just so bold upfront and, and succinct sticking with the point. And we appreciate Jerome sharing his essay with the world so that we could have it published in the book. He is currently at Harvard Business School uh, earning his MBA degree. And Liza, this is one of 50 different essays in the book. And I have to say this, not only do you learn the different approaches that people make uh, in applying to these two great schools, uh, but these are actually entertaining essays. I mean, uh, frankly, it's like a book of short stories uh, that's kind of fun to read. Uh, put it at your bedside table at night when you have trouble going to sleep. Read a few of these and uh, they'll make you smile. You can buy the book for the low price of a fraction of what it costs to apply to either of these schools uh, at our website at Poets and Quants. Just Google what matters and what more uh, and you'll find it there. Liza, thank you so much. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quants. You've been watching What Matters and What More. Mm -hmm.